Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. Uh, so, you know, I just want to say, like, you know, skills, like, talking to women, like, being in a relationship, like, romanticism, all that is just like anything else, man, it's a skill. Um, you know, maybe some people come a little bit better, have a little bit more natural talent than others, um, just like other things too, uh, but anybody can learn any type of a skill, you know, I mean, we all learn at different paces and this and that. Uh, but it dawned on me, like, it's, like, the reason why I feel this way is just because I really don't have much experience, um, especially for somebody my age, um, in regards to, like, you know, being with females and shit like that, developing good, healthy relationships with, with females, um, so it's like, you know, my, just, my, the video I made a few days ago talking about maybe I should just be single and work on a project, da, 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 and it's like, well, that's not, you know, I mean, it, I do, like, the desire, I have, like, very strong compulsion, like, you know, like, part of me would, like, give, like, all of this that I'm working on and, like, you know, give it all up just to be with, you know, uh, you know, somebody I love. And, uh, you know, I know that the longer I hold it off, the longer I'm just, like, putting myself into this position to where I'm going to be, feel enabled to do so. And, like, one of the best ways you learn about doing anything is just to jump right the fuck in that situation and just figure it the fuck out as, as well as you can. And so, you know, like, I, I just, I need to be like i'm not I don't even, you know depending on what astrological chart you look at some will say i'm a leo and some will say i'm a virgo because i'm right there at the cusp but you know either or i feel like i got a little bit of both you know the leo energy and i mean we all have all of the astrological signs but wherever your birth date is is going to give you the you know you're gonna have more of an association with those astrological signs as opposed to others <clears throat> um so me i'm right there at the leo and the virgo and part of the virgo you know they have an like I mean, it's essentially an obsessive compulsive disorder, or I don't know if it's a disorder, but just that obsessiveness to want to keep on going after things, to keep worrying about things. And like, I definitely do uh, a good deal of that. So, <clears throat> um, you know, it's like, uh, and that can get in the way. It's, it's good because it can motivate you to want to keep going and keep doing things better and better and better and better. But it can also like, at least for me, sometimes if, if I don't feel like, the right type of mood or the feelings or the situation just is off or I'm, I'm off or da, da, da. like I won't even want to attempt it to try because it's like well fuck dude I'm already so off in so many different ways like what's the point of even fucking trying you know it's like it's just gonna go to shit anyways so it's like you know why not just like put the you know wait until I'm in a better place to do it and then go ahead and do it you know but it's like yeah I mean it's like why like why not like learn a new skill man I'd love to like that's what I've realized like I just need to you know, like practice I need more practice we're talking to women and, uh, you know, being around them and everything that entails. So, um, you know, especially now that I got some money in my pocket, you know, I mean, <clears throat> it makes me feel more, you know, able to go out there and actually provide a, a memory or a situation or an experience where, you know, I'm going to be able to do that with a female. And, um, you know, I mean, my heart is still obviously, you know, I say obviously because I feel like it's pretty obvious right now. But yeah, my heart still yearns for a particular person. But, you know, as far as that panning out, I'm not sure. Um, and the part of me is like, maybe I should try to like, you know, talk with other girls and get a little bit better about talking with females before I talk to her. Because then I'll be in a little bit better of a position to, you know, create a, a more of a positive or more of a, you know, successful experience in regards to us, you know, fucking, uh, you know, getting along and things working out well. Um <clears throat> Again, this is all just me, like, hypothetically sharing the type of things that are in my mind. Um, but, you know, then another part of me is like, well, if I do that, like, see, I'm, I'm for, like, if you found your twin flame, your soulmate, or the person that you feel most deeply connected to, like, the more that you try to fucks with other people, the more of a separation you're going to, you know, uh, incur upon you and, and the other person. So it's like, part of me is very aware of that, so I'm very wary to want to engage with any other type of a female, because it's like, I know it's going to, like, just... It's not really fair to the other female too. Like if I'm still thinking about a particular person all the time, or if any, if it's whatever type of situation it is, if you're still thinking about another person and you're trying to be with somebody else while constantly thinking about that person, like that's kind of like not being fair to that to that new person because you're still really, you know, your your heart, your emotions, you are still really fucking yearning and haven't totally dealt with that other person. So, you know, and I don't like to use people just as like, you know, what do they call it? Fucking, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, there's that word for, you know, girl, you know, people that you're with when you, after a breakup, just to help you fucking get over the breakup. Like, I don't like that shit because I just don't, you know, it's like, uh, you know, unless I guess if, if you were honest about it and like, yo man, like I just got out of a crazy relationship and to be honest with you, I'm just kind of like, I'm really lonely right now. And like, I'm that's my main MO is to help find somebody to help me get over this fucked up relationship I was just in or whatever may have happened. 
if you let them know that up front and they're still cool with it, that's different. But to go around, you know, with somebody and, you know, pretending that you're in, you know, love with them and, and or just pretending to be completely enthralled in the moment with them when in actuality you're thinking about somebody completely different, like that type of shit, I don't know, I fucking, that doesn't feel right to me. So, <clears throat> um, I'm can, you know, I don't feel like that's why like, I'm still doing what I can to hold on to, you know, the possibility that it might work out with any particular person, man. Um, so, you know, um, but anyways, essentially what I just wanted to say was like, I've come to the point where I realized that like the best way, the quickest way for me to go about getting to that spot to where I feel like to give myself the best possibility for this thing to work out is to just jump right in the fucking situation and, and learn from, from experience and learn as I go and just to build and to grow and to try to, you know, take what issues work well and what don't work, you know, or what things work well and, and, you know, grow with them and the things that don't, you know, learn to just, you know, drop them or, you know, just stop paying them attention or just stop letting, you know, just to learn from them, you know, because that's what the pains and the things that we fuck up are here for, uh, they can be here. Like, if you choose to look at it that way, they can help you grow. Now, if you choose to let them fucking get you down and put you in a fucking pitiful hole, well, that's your choice too. Um, but, you know, I'm in a pretty good, strong condition. Like, my body's in a very good place and my mind's doing pretty well and my spirits are, are relatively good. And these people that I met... Um, these past couple of days doing this labor, um, they're, they're interesting, you know, it's, it's just two people, but you know, it's just, um, I don't know. I don't want to sp spoil things too much in the future, but I feel like there's a possibility that they might, um, I don't know, they, they might be somehow or another involved in the project in the future. That's all I'm going to say right now. So, all right. Anyways, I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.